Well, a group of Catholic seminarians and lay pilgrims revive an old medieval tradition, and Jason Calvi travels with them tonight. The rain is no match for men on a mission. It's not a normal walk in the park. Seminarians of the priestly fraternity of St. Peter and laity are on a three-day pilgrimage. We're trying to sanctify ourselves first because you can't give what you don't have. So by us doing this pilgrimage, we hope to light a fire in our, in our souls and hearts and in these boys. And asking God's forgiveness. You know, we pray for sinners. They're walking from here in Maryland to Washington, D.C. Um, talking, reflecting, praying. It sort of sets you away from the rest of the world and gives you a little chance to kind of uh, you know, slow down and think about, you know, things of God. And a silent message to the people they pass along the way. Maybe that will help light something in them, you know, a little spark of energy and faith. But they're also helped by others, like the time they didn't have a lighter to start their dinner fire. They said a prayer and then a man entered. He just carried all this stuff with him. He needed to get rid of it and he had a, like five extra lighters. <laughs> so, you know, you'd be surprised like, just how many things happen on the pilgrimage. You know, I think lives are changed on it. Most of the 55 mile journey is spent here along the CNO Canal. It used to bring goods to market more than 100 years ago, but what's happening here today is much older than that. Back in olden days, you know, they'd make pilgrimages like this to the Holy Land and other places, you know, so that we could pray and that we could come together and, you know, ask God to, you know, forgive us these sins and so that we can move forward as a people. They'll finish Saturday night with a traditional solemn high mass at the National Shrine, thanking God for his blessings. On pilgrimage, Jason Calvi, EWTN News Nightly.